I've had a, a long-term problem with my Mercury Bridgeport 2.4 EFI engine that I've never really cracked or gotten to the bottom of. Um, it runs very rich at idle, but when you open the throttle and give it plenty, it seems fine. The, the problem is it's very smoky at idle, very oily, and if you're not running full on, like you're just moving from an area where I launch where the limit is eight knots to getting out into the Solent where you can go fast, the, uh, it's using a lot of fuel uh, to no effect and it's not very good for the environment either. So, you know, it's kind of put me off using it. And for a, a long time, I've, I've just sort of, you know, kind of lost interest in it. Anyway, recently, I decided I've got to get to the bottom of this and I was convinced there was some it was a cold start enrichment all the time and um, there is a wire here which is the yellow black which is pushed to enrich and there is a yellow and red wire here that comes from the EFI unit which on the pucker diagram that's in the Bridgeport you know, the Mercury Bridgeport workshop manual shows that grounded. Um, other people say link it to the because yellow and red, it's the start, it's the start um, solenoid. So when you're keying start, it's enriching. And other people say link that to the to the uh, push to enrich. Now I've tried all three, I've, I've grounded it now, which was as per the manual, and it's made no difference. It's still very, very rich. Anyway, um, I started looking further afield and I, I worked, I found out that this, you know, now I've got a manual, I found out this is the throttle position indicator, TPI as it's called, and it's basically a sensor. And um, when I looked, underneath here there's two spigots for pipes, I don't know if you can see those, but anyway, I'll take it off in a minute and show you. But those two pipes, one of them, has a pipe, a, 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 you know, a, a line, as the Americans call it, or a small tube that runs from there to the manifold to sense manifold vacuum. And obviously the other one's open to atmosphere as a reference. So I worked it out, that being you know, completely bloody missing. And I looked at all the photos that the previous owner had given me and that's missing. And this here, doesn't look right. I mean, you know, why would you need to link those two? They're both at the same uh, pressure or lack of. And then over here you've got a line which is for the manifold absolute pressure that goes into the ECU. Now, my feeling is that the MAP should be up here. These should not be linked. And the there should be a line from here, or a pipe from here, from the sensor or the indicator to here, which is the most expedient point for the throttle um, and the depression or vacuum or partial vacuum that's on the inside of the body of, the ma of this plenum chamber from the butterfly, which is right there. Now, that's me, my life and fork in it, because it's, there's no very accurate information that you can see in the manual other than photos. Someone's clearly got this very wrong. I've had a look at lots of photos on the internet and they do tend to vary. But I would say that here, here and here will all be at the same pressure at any given moment. So I think that if I were to connect the correct port on the TPS or TPI to one of these it would make all the difference so I'm gonna try that and see how I get on. I've changed the various um, pipes or lines on the power head now which accord more closely with the photographs that I've seen on websites like Scream and Fly. Uh, what I've done is I've taken out the pipe that bridged these two uh, inlets or spigots, whatever you want to call them, and I set this up as a T, pretty much as you would find most of the photographs on Scream and Fly and Boat Mad, 
I've run the pipe from the ECU mass airflow sensor, it's an internal sensor in the ECU, I'll run that to the adjacent spigot and then this one here on the bell mouth or horn or whatever you want to call it, the one which is closest to the throttle butterfly, I've run a pipe from there or a line from there up round and to the uh, throttle position indicator unit or sensor unit as per, and I've used the spigot that, which appears to be, or the pipe outlet, which appears to be the one that I found in photographs on Scream and Fly. You can't find anything in the workshop manuals for this, you know. It's, I don't think the the um, workshop manual for um, the Mercury outboard workshop manual for this was it was terribly detailed. It was, you know, it was a bit fluffy and in places it's very so I, I think there wasn't a lot of investment in it because they don't make many of these engines anyway and most of the people who work on these are considered to be experts or techs anyway so but um, anyway so I've got this um, these pipes in place now these little right angled spigots or I'm not sure what the technical name from is is it all um, pipe unions um, they were uh, this one was blocked so that wasn't going to help anything and the other two were a little bit crap so what I did I got some copper wire and slipped it inside unblocked it and then sucked out any of the um, by putting a little pipe on the end and sucked it out with my mouth rather than have it go into the bell mouth I'd rather have the crud in my mouth than go into my engine because you know that's the way it is when you're an enthusiast okay um, the setup's changed let's see how it goes let's see it run the engine and see if it improves just done a test run, run on the engine and it's it runs a lot better a lot better and uh, it's still smoky but nowhere near as bad as it was and there's probably quite a lot of residual oil left behind and the the fuel in the tank might be you know overly oily anyway um, it's a lot better than what it was I can tell it's running pretty much now how it should be and I think what it is now is taking out for blast um, the video, I'm sorry, it's the the sound quality is not brilliant because the um, exhaust was blowing into the microphone of this camera and uh, it's making a popping noise. And that's not the engine, that's the microphone. But uh, I don't want to run it again, so I'm going to post that video. Anyway, um, if this has been helpful, I'm glad. And in any case, thank you for watching.